hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing us how to do a flight reservation for free a flight reservation is one of the requirements for a schengen visa so i'm going to be showing us how to go about it for free you do not have to pay anything just for a flight reservation remember this is not a real flight ticket you can go ahead to get your um, real flight tickets after you've gotten your visa that is after you're sure that you've gotten the visa then go ahead to book a real flight ticket for your travel but for your visa applications you can just use this technique is free you do not need to pay for it and let's get right into it i'll show you so i have um two airline options that i'll be sharing with you and the first one is the utopian airlines so all you have to do is just to go on to google and um find their website the utopian airlines log into their website and just try to book the flight from there but then i'm going to be telling us something i'm going to be showing us something on this website um actually this is for people traveling from nigeria to malta or any country at all i mean i'm currently schooling in malta so i'm just trying to do this for people that also intend coming to school in malta but even if you're using this for um application to any other schengen country this would also work well for you so if you're traveling from nigeria lagos or abuja let's assume i'm coming from um lagos and i type this lagos and of course we all know is a round trip because um for me when i was applying i was asked to show a round trip um reservation so if it differs yours can be a one-way trip but for me i was asked for a round trip so my um departure country um is nigeria of course and then my um destination is malta you would notice that Malta didn't pop up here and that was one thing I noticed. I was looking for a whole lot of airlines where I can do this for free and when I came across Utopian Airlines, I noticed that um, going through their website, I cannot book from Nigeria to Malta on their website. But don't worry, I have a solution to you know deal with this. So let's just go to Google Flights. You just type Google Flights, um, Google Flights, and yeah, I just basically book a flight. And yes, it's in the um, round trip option. So my from Nigeria, or I can say Lagos, because I'm traveling from Lagos, Lagos in Nigeria, not in Portugal. Um, Lagos, Nigeria to Malta. So Malta comes up, departure. Um, any dates? Just choose the dates you feel you you want to leave the country. For me, let's say um thirtieth to return. Remember, this is not a real date. This is just something you have to show just for your um, visa application so it is not a real date when you're ready to well after you get your visa then go ahead to do the real thing so search a number of different um options come up klm british airways ethiopian what we are going for is the ethiopian ita that is the only one we are going for so we click on that and yes this is what we want you click on it we'll just go through this please book with ethiopian do not book via any other platform go with ethiopian directly to be able to you know book this um hold for free um click on continue and then this will take us to the Ethiopian website directly, you see? So it's way easier this way. If you search through the Ethiopian website and you're not seeing your destination country, maybe you should check via the Google Flights and who knows, it might pop up. 
So basically, you just um, fill in your details. So you just fill in your details. I will do that. Um, and this is just for illustration um, purposes. I don't have to write the main information. Uh, continue. Click on continue. Okay, so after it's loaded, um, here are details. Mm, you have to select a seat, but like I said, this is not a real flight ticket, so you don't even have to waste your time here. Just click on continue. And um, click on continue. So now you can just check to see your selected flight. Make sure that everything is in order. Check your information to be sure it's correct. That's if you just want to. I mean, all that is not necessary. You can just go ahead. When you're doing the real flight, when you're booking the real flight, of course, make sure you spend time to read through everything so that you're not missing out on anything. So, um... Now, this is very important. Book now, pay later. This is the option you want to select. This option will allow you to log this fare for one day. So, this is just going to be valid for a day. So, that means if you're submitting your visa application today, please do make sure you do this the same day you're submitting your visa application, okay? You don't have to do it days before you submit your application. Do it on the same day you're submitting your application. So that at least it's still valid for that day. So you click on this. And of course, you have to agree to their um, rules, fair rules, and click on purchase. So after that, um, hi, Chidera Reservation, and that is it. I just got the email from them. And in the email is going to be my confirmation order, of course. And it's already stated that it will expire in 23 hours and 59 minutes. So I can go to my email. Let's, let me just show us what it would look like. Let me just show us what the um, confirmation would look like. Of course, there is a PDF file. So this PDF file is what you would submit as your flight reservation. I mean, it's more than enough. This is what I used and everything went okay. There were no questions. So you can use this, okay? There is a PDF file here for you. So just go ahead and submit this PDF file as your, um, as your confirmation for your flight reservation so from here you can see my details when i'm leaving my flights um routes and everything so this is it you see this is very easy straight um forward straight to the point you don't have to pay there are some airlines that would um, require you to pay like 20 dollars or 30 dollars just to hold a seat reservation i mean that's ridiculous at the end of the day we are trying to not spend a lot of money so the second one is klm nigeria very important you have to add nigeria to it klm nigeria for this to work it has to be klm nigeria very important so cheap flights just click on cheap flights and yes of course it's a round trip um for one passenger and economy class from from Lagos, Nigeria to Malta. Departure dates, um, we are going to choose, let's say, any date in December. And then for the return, just, just choose a random date, okay? Um, view offers all right of course i'll go for the cheapest one here click on that and select then for my return flights 
go for the cheapest one too and select now we've checked everything is good continue to passenger details the same thing fill in your name and every other thing they're asking for uh, i don't well i don't need all this so continue uh, i don't want to subscribe nope continue then my phone number just go ahead and type my phone number and of course my email address and after that continue are you traveling for business no you're not so click on continue select my seats i mean i don't have to this is just to show us as an example but we can go ahead to do all that if you want to so just look out look, just look at the trip outbound trip make sure that everything is okay the dates is in order and everything so down to the moment of truth this is where it gets tricky choose a payment method now you want to click on the pay at klm office now this is what it says the ticket needs to be paid for at one of our ticket offices within 48 hours so that means you can get the confirmation in your email but then you have to pay within 48 hours if you do not pay within 48 hours your reservation will be cancelled so you see it's um the ethiopian airline gives you one day to pay the ethiopian airline gives you one day and this one gives you 48 hours which is two days so i mean choose the one you prefer i mean i would actually go for this i mean this is two days so if you do this on the day you're submitting your visa application that means you even have an extra day in case they want to confirm but i really do not know if they confirm these things but why not it's better to be on the safer side so you can go ahead with this if it works for you then click on the on what's it called on their general conditions and everything continue to payments I just got the reservation in my email and I'm going to show us what it looks like in the email. So that's how it works. So let's check the email and see what it looks like. Let's see if there is a PDF just like the Ethiopian Airlines. So this is the email I got from KLM. Booking confirmation. Your booking was successful. So this is the confirmation from KLM. And of course, it stated there that I've not made the payment and I have to pay within 48 hours. If not, it will be cancelled. My flight booking code is clearly stated here. The total price I have to pay is here also. The flight summary is, you know, clearly stated. And unlike the Ethiopian airline, where it comes with, the Ethiopian airline comes with a PDF that you can just, you know, easily submit with your visa application this one doesn't come with a pdf so it's very easy actually you just have to print the three dots and click on print once you click on print it's downloaded to your phone in um, pdf format it's as easy as that so which one would you go for let me know in the comment section would you go for the klm or would you go for the ethiopian airlines as for me i used the ethiopian airlines and there were no issues at all everything went on smoothly i hope this video is able to help one or two people out there save money because nobody wants to spend money on something that can actually be done for free okay all right have a wonderful day and stay blessed thanks for watching to this point and please please subscribe to my channel see you in my next video bye